Today I'm going to show you how to set up a torch that flickers in a Unity 2D game using Bolt Visual Scripting. Let's begin. Shall we play a game? Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is set up a system that allows us to have lights in our game. And Unity has a package that you can download from the package manager called Universal Render Pipeline. Today I'm going to show you how to set this up, but I'm basically giving you the Cliff Notes version. Uh, I would highly recommend checking out Bracky's video on this. Um, he does one called 2D Lights in Unity. May his uh, channel rest in peace, but I'm going to put a link in the description below for this video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to install Universal Render Pipeline, what you're going to need to do is go to your window and then go to Package Manager. If you are using Unity 2019 um, or anything less than 2020, you should see under Packages, like All Packages or something like that. You're just going to go to Unity Registry if you have 2020 like I'm using here. Go down to the bottom, click on Universal Render Pipeline, and install that uh, by clicking this little button right here. Once that is done, you're going to need to be able to call these macros in the bolt unit options wizard so going to bolt unit option wizard and going down to the bottom um, I went ahead and added all the render pipelines in there just in case in the future I ever need to call something in this in a graph so you're just going to go to the bottom hit the plus sign and you can add all these if you want um, I think what you're going to need is core editor and core runtime though um, so if you just type in render uh, you should see core editor and core runtime at the very least you're going to need those so just hit next and whenever it's finished uh, generating so hit generate it will make it to where you can call those in a bolt graph so how do we add lights to our game well the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make it dark and the way that we're going to do that is going into our project folder we're going to right click and we're going to create a rendering universal render pipeline pipeline asset for renderer and we're going to rename this URP, and um, it gives you another option here. This is uh, used for 3D and 2D, so to be able to use this for 2D, what we're going to need to do is delete the URP renderer that it created, and uh, we're going to actually add in a 2D uh, format of that. So create rendering universal render pipeline, go to 2D renderer experimental, and let's just call this URP 2D. Um, so then what we're going to do is clicking on our URP, we're going to grab and drag our uh, URP 2D and just set it right there. Then we're going to go to edit, we're going to go to project settings, and under graphics, um, it's going to ask us what is our render pipeline asset, and we don't currently have one in there. So just grab the URP and then drop it right here. So now we actually have a universal render pipeline set up in our scene, but if you notice, nothing has really changed until you start dragging in sprites. I'm gonna have to set that to an order layer of one, and now you can see that that sprite that I just dropped in there is now black and white, which is kind of weird. Um, the rest of these sprites need to be updated, and Unity gives us an easy way to do that. Go to Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, 2D Renderer, and Upgrade Scene to 2D Renderer, and uh, hit Proceed, and you notice that everything went black. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to create a point light. So go to light uh, in the hierarchy, right click and create a light. We're going to make a global light first, then we're going to make a point light. Now that global light, what that does is it just sets it to where everything is visible. But I don't want it to be that visible, so I'm going to go to my intensity over here on the right and I'm going to type in 0.25. And so then you kind of get uh, an idea that it's dark in there, you can kind of see it but uh, at the very same time, it's still kind of dark. Now notice your players and your characters kind of stand out from that. We're going to be able to fix that in just a minute. Or we can fix it right now. If you actually go to your target sorting layers, just go to player right here and you'll notice that your player and your enemy also kind of get grayed out a little bit like it's dark. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need is a sprite that looks like a torch. And I went to opengamerart.org and I just downloaded this one. And when you get that installed or downloaded and unzipped, you should have a file that looks something like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this file into my Unity game. 
and so I made a little folder called lights uh, I'm just gonna drop it right in there and you'll notice that um, this is just one um, one sprite that has six different torches in it and that's not actually what we need we need this to be split up so clicking on our torch sheet we're gonna go to sprite editor uh, and actually first go to multiple set it to 50 because I think you know what let's set it to 25 let's see if that's the right size sprite editor go to apply and then you should see that this sprite uh, comes up and we're going to have to slice this up now if you actually look on the opengameart.org website uh, they tell you that the torch is 32 by 32 pixels and so that's what we're going to use to cut this sprite up so going to slice go to uh, grid by cell size type in 32 by 32 hit slice and then hit apply and we should now have six different torches in uh, this one sprite so uh, going whoop, that is way too big let's uh, let's move that to let's say move it to 40 uh, I think that might be more appropriate um, yeah there we go all right so now dragging our first torch sheet zero into the scene you'll see it come up here into the hierarchy just go ahead and rename that torch and uh, we're going to give this an animation that is just going to loop over and over so we won't have to use the animator at all what we're going to do is create a uh, new animation and let's just call it torch and um, in this we're going to drag our six different sprites in there and go ahead and set the sample to let's set it to 15 and press play and um, that actually looks pretty good for me okay so you now have your torch in your scene but it doesn't actually do anything so you're going to have to give this a point light right click on your torch go to lights go to 2d and create a point light now what you'll notice here in our scene is that it kind of lit up around that and uh, we're going to need that to be a little bit bigger now you can play around with these values as much as you want and get what you like but i found that a 0.1 on the inner radius and a 0.5 on the outer radius uh, seems to work pretty well for me now again notice that your player and your monster over there don't seem to be picked up by this light you can go down here and select the particular layers that you want it to target um, now you also notice that the light is very white and I'd like something a little bit more yellow now again you can set this to whatever you like whatever color you like but I want my uh, point light to be just a little bit of a light yellow color and that seems to work pretty well for me so I am going to close that once it's done now you have this light but how do you get the flickering light effect well you're actually going to have, have to add another point light to that so going to your torch right click on it uh, click a 2d light and just give it another point light uh, you could actually just duplicate it, that one if you wanted uh, but um, I'm gonna set this point uh, the inner radius to a point one and the outer radius I'm going to set to a two and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to turn the intensity up on this one pretty high and so I'm gonna set the intensity to three and again I don't want that white but instead of doing yellow on this one I'm gonna kind of give it more of an orange effect so or, or maybe even kind of more of a red there you go uh, and so that is very very high intensity but uh, what we're going to do on the second point light is we're going to set it to where it flickers on and off in a random random way it kind of gives you a fire effect clicking on the light with the higher intensity because this is the one that needs to flicker on and off we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and click add component and add a flow machine and just create a new flow machine macro and let's just call this light you could also embed it if you wanted to but I might use this somewhere else so I'm just gonna make a macro delete the start event and we're going to create a timer in this um, and what this timer is going to do is it's going to toggle um, this effect that we're going to run in at a random interval uh, at a random rate so um, you installed universal render pipeline into the bolt um, unit options wizard you should now be able to call that in your graph so let's right click and hit uh, set intensity and you should see a light 2d set intensity and so uh, when it's completed we're going to change the intensity of this particular light in a random um, range so the way you're going to do that type in random range and you're going to need a min and a max and I found that a 2 for the min and a 4 for the max 
seems to work better for me. Just you get that that brighter kind of darker feeling. So we set it at a three, so it'll get a little bit brighter or go a little bit uh, duller. But um, we're gonna need to set that at a random interval. And so again, type in a random range, a min and a max. And uh, for this one, I have found that a 0.1 in the max, this means essentially that it's going to be changing the intensity um, between 0 and 0.1 seconds. It's going to be changing the intensity at a random amount between those two numbers. So um, when you press play, you should see that your torch now will flicker kind of like uh, a, a regular torch so um, one more thing that I would recommend that that I think is kind of neat but you don't have to do this is uh, you'll notice the intensity is changing at a random rate that's how you're getting that flicker effect so um, I think it's the inner angle if you actually move that down a little bit you'll notice that you can kind of get that uh, I think it's called a scone is that right that the fire sits in a scone but um, you know, it just kind of blocks that out. So if you if you want to add more torches to your game, um, you by the way, you're gonna have to change that outside of play mode. Um, you're just going to uh, take this torch and just duplicate it and uh, move it around your scene wherever you want them to set. Okay, your world should be just a little bit brighter now that you should have torches that actually flicker in your game. If you had any problems with this build, be sure to hit me up on Discord. For now, though, I'm turning the lights off on this tutorial. Thank you for joining me. My name is Megahertz, and I'm out.